Probably there's no topic that's more on the minds of the American people, but mostly the Georgia people that I care about than housing. Those people that have houses about the decline in values that have taken place. Those people that have mortgages that they've had difficulty about which direction they're going to go. And those who are out there with a house to sell or wanting to buy for the first time, wondering whether now is the right time, and if I do, how do I do it? There's so much in the news about Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, about mortgage brokers, about FHA, about hope for homeowners, about tax credits. I thought we'd try and simplify everything. Now, I have a personal percep perception here because this was my profession and I still consider it my profession, although I'm not practicing anymore in real estate, obviously, serving the United States Congress. But for 33 years, I made my living in the residential housing business, and I went through four major recessions, 1968, 1974, 1981 and 82, and 1990 and 91. They were all significant recessions, and they were all housing driven, and every one of them ended. And when they, over, when they were over, housing values restored, houses began to appreciate, and the strength of the housing market so I can tell you, if history is any teacher, what we're going through now will end, and I personally think we're bumping along the bottom of it. And once it does turn the other way, housing will restore in this country. There will be some fundamental differences in my judgment, but one difference there won't be, and that is every family will want to own their own home. The first time home buyer tax credit, which passed first last year as a really an interest-free loan, not a tax credit, was changed to a $8,000 direct tax credit for first-time home buyers. And it is in operation now. And if you qualify as a first-time home buyer and you're buy, or an individual with an income of $75,000 or less, or a couple with a combined income of $250,000 or less, you can get an $8,000 direct tax credit if you purchase any home and occupy it as your residence for three years. If you, you get the credit now, but if you moved out, out inside of three years, you have to file with the IRS and it gets prorated. It is a great opportunity. Where did this idea come from? It came from 1974. 1974, we had a housing recession, and you're not going to believe this, but those in the business then will tell you it was probably a little worse than this one. There was a three-year supply of standing inventory. Nothing was selling. And because of usury ceilings at the time, there wasn't any mortgage money. I mean, it was the lights were out. Congress passed a $2,000 tax credit for anybody who purchased a standing vacant new house, which was substantially the weakness of the economy of the homes at that time. And in one year's time, that inventory of a three-year inventory had been reduced to less than a year. Housing values returned and the market took off. And so Congress decided and the administration finally became convinced that such a tax credit at this time would be appropriate. The, the, uh, and so I hope any of you who are first-time home buyers who've always thought about maybe buying a home will realize the opportunity for this tax credit is short-lived, and when it's over, it'll be over. And so if you want to take advantage of it, now's the time to do so. 